Nothing works up my appetite like all that fishing we did earlier today. So I'm in the kitchen showing you how to make one of my favorite treats, cupcakes. And these have a special spin because they are decorated like little fishies. Let me show you how. So to get started, I'm gonna whip up our frosting. I'm making an American buttercream frosting because it's one of the easiest, most delicious and versatile frostings you can possibly make. And it's really simple. It's one part butter to two parts powdered sugar. So for today, I'm using half a pound of butter, which is two sticks, and one pound of powdered sugar. And that's really convenient because they typically sell powdered sugar in one pound bags. Now the trick to a perfect frosting is that the butter has to be at room temperature because when you put it into your mixer, you want it to have that creamy, yummy consistency. I'm going to slowly add the one pound of powdered sugar to this mixture. I don't want to turn it on too high because it'll go everywhere. Nobody wants that. Raise your hand if you've done that before. I'm gonna add one to three tablespoons of milk just until it reaches a really nice creamy consistency that I want. And you can do this a little bit at a time, which is what I like to do. I put a little bit in, judge how the consistency looks, and then put a little bit more in as I need it. Tiny bit more. Well, that looks perfect. And last but not least, you need your flavoring. I really just want a vanilla frosted cupcake today. So I'm just gonna add a tiny bit of vanilla, one teaspoon. My other tip is that when you are coloring your frosting, to get that really true, good blue and green color, or any color for that matter, you need to be using food paste. It's not the colored food gel you see, typically on your baking aisle, it's called paste. And you can find these in your local craft stores or online. If you don't happen to have any fancy pastry bags on hand while you're decorating, you can use a Ziploc baggie. These are great because turn them on its side and cut a hole, it's a pastry bag. But what's great about these for little kids is that you can seal the top, sealing in the mess, ensuring that the frosting stays in the bag and on the cupcakes and not all over your kitchen. So I'm gonna take one of my cupcakes and let's use blue, that sounds fun. And I am going to just go all around the cupcake not too much frosting, you don't want a ton. I'm also not a massive frosting person, but if you are, load it on there. Now I am going to spread out the frosting so it's just a nice little even layer all the way to the edges. So first we need our fin. So I'm gonna take a fruit sliced candy and I'm going to cut it in half lengthwise. Now this little piece right here, this is gonna be the fin on our cupcake. Now comes the fun part where you get to be really creative. What kind of scales do you want your fish to have? I'm thinking for this one, I want yellow. So I'm gonna take the chocolate coated candy. I'm just gonna start adding them, kind of overlapping, stacking them. Okay, so now we have two rows of fish scales, but he also needs his little, his little arm fins. So we're gonna take that same fruit slice candy and just cut that in half. Perfect, it's a perfect little fish fin. So I'm gonna stick that right like so. And then I'm just gonna keep on decorating with my fish scales. So our fish needs a face now. So I'm gonna take one of these cute little candy eyes. I'm gonna put this right here. Perfect, and now he needs a cute little lips. So let's say, let's have him have orange lips. So you're gonna take, again, two chocolate-coated candies, and instead of laying them flat, you're gonna turn them on their side. Just push them kind of down so they stay into the frosting. And make a little mouth. Voila, you have a cute, adorable little fishy. This recipe is so great, especially if you have little ones around. It's easy, it's perfect after a long day of fishing, a day on the lake, or Heck, if you just want some cute fishy cupcakes. All in all, I think this is a 10 out of 10 recipe that you need to try this weekend.